Look, we're talking about films. Um, joining us on the line, uh, Adam Dark, who's made a brilliant film about John Johnny Greaves, who is an amazing journeyman fighter. Let's listen to this clip from the film Cornered. The journeyman is a guy basically that will uh, will take a, a tough fight in a day's notice, maybe a week's notice, maybe a few hours notice, and they could be sat at home on the cup of tea, you know. Be it, be it the day job that they have to normally have to do a day job and just take the fight. See, that's what makes boxing shows work. And when the phone rings, I'll ring Johnny and say, look, we've been offered this fight. Are you interested? Um, he usually says, what's the money? My job as a journeyman, basically, it's all against me. They don't give me much chance. They give me short notice, um, mainly on top of a four or five hour drive most of the time. So my job would come here, get my job done, get on the road, get back to London. They're not being paid to go out and win. They're being paid to go out and give it a shot, keep the guys interested for a couple of rounds before maybe fading into the back and just, you know, looking to looking towards the next week's payday. Regardless of all the losses, you know, you're a very, very, very clever fighter to be able to go in there. Basically, you know you're fighting somebody else Somebody else is from a uh, fighter, the referee's going to be on their side, they're going to go in there, make money at short notice and, and come out, you know, not too bashed up. Amazing. And on the line, I hope, is Adam Dark. Hello, Gareth. How are you? Very well. Good evening, you're, Adam. You're sounding, you're sounding slightly bullied, slightly put upon, Gareth. Are you OK? Oh, uh, do you know what? Don't give me a Handsome, that. handsome... Do you, do you need some love? Do I do, I do, love, I do. I, I'm in here with yeah. handsome bully Eddie Hearn. He, he's, he needs some love. He's <laughs> heading down the West End after. <laughs> I know. He's a fragile bunny. I am. I, I need some love. Listen, a brilliant documentary. Um, look, we, we, We've heard from, from Lennox Lewis tonight and Anthony Joshua. There's one, one end of boxing and there's another end, isn't there, the, the, the journeyman. What made you fascinated with this guy, Johnny Greaves? I think I was always interested in, in journeymen generally. I think not so much what they do for a living because I suppose people in boxing circles will know will know the game and know the way that it works and you know, Johnny is a Johnny is, is like many others. He's a you know, he's got a day job, he's a painter and decorator. Um, he likes a fag, he likes a drink, he doesn't train too hard, you know, he takes fights at short notice travels up and down the country like eddie says he's the, he's the glue that, that keeps cards together mm. um and i think that's that's one element of it and that's that's fascinating in its own right and that certainly comes across in the film there's some great insight in terms of that um but i think what interested me more was what would draw someone to a profession like that um, and I suppose the film is, is kind of about one man's struggle for survival in and out of the ring, if you like. What, what, it was amazing, I, I saw some other clips, um, we listened to a short one there, but there was talk about him contemplating suicide at one point as well. I mean, what, what, do, you, what do you feel like when you're making a film and people talk to you like that? Yeah, well, it's, it was kind of an interesting process because... At the start, it was me, a kind of, uh, I'd say I call myself a kind of a, a slightly middle-aged, middle-class kind of guy from West London going down the Peacock Gym for the first time um, and feeling kind of very much a fish out of water mm. and, and quite intimidated. Mm. I mean, obviously, the, these gyms are fantastic places and the characters are, are really warm. Um, but, you know, I, I think at the start, um, you know, I guess the story that Johnny told me was was that, you know, he was a tough guy, you know, um, he was never going to be a big enough ticket seller um, to be in the home corner, if you like, and that, and that taking these fights and, and being a journeyman was, was a way to, to make a pound note, um, as he calls it. But I think I just sensed that with him particularly, there was, there was something else driving it. And, you know, he's involved in in what is one of the sort of the toughest, you know, physical professions out there. You know, it's brutal at times what he does. Yeah. But he's but he's but yet yeah, he's a, he's mentally he he's I don't think you'll mind me saying this, a very kind of fragile individual. And he there's almost two Johnnies and he's mm. he's a well known character in boxing. There's the Johnny who that Eddie will know that goes in the ring and he'll wink at the crowd and he'll he'll do an alley shuffle, you know, and he'll <laughs> 
he'll, 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 you know, he'll turn all the tricks that he can. But the real Johnny Greaves is someone is someone completely different. Is, it, is there a, you know, because he's talked about what he wants to do for his children and the other side is what he wants to do for his parents. And he feels like, you know, when you listen to him, he's like a man almost trapped in his own perdition at times, in his own hell. And, and you know, reaching 100 fights as a professional, which is incredible anyway, um, mm. reaching 100 fights was to make his parents proud, you know? I think it was... He talks in the film about he, you know, he'd... He'd never really achieved anything in his life. That's what he said, or at least that's what he thought. You know, he came from a sort of a tough East End upbringing. And, and you know, he's a guy with... He's, he's a very, very good friend of mine now, and, and I hope he, he won't mind me talking openly about this, but he's a guy with tremendously sort of um, low self-worth. Um, and I think it certainly is discussed in the film by, by friends and family. Boxing was kind of was kind of his way of proving something to his family and proving something to himself that he he could do this that he was that he was tough enough to get in there yeah he he will get hurt but you know what he's tough enough to stand there and take the punches um and i guess he's my feeling and is that he he was searching for kind of an acceptance and a validation and and to a to a degree love as well and it's a, it's kind of it's a it's kind of a, a tragic film in a way. It's quite sad, um, but one I think that that has a kind of a hopeful ending in the sense that the fight game and the film itself actually have both been quite therapeutic for him. And there's there's kind of a sense at the end that perhaps getting to the hundred fights um, and 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 going through this process and proving something to himself and learning about himself um might just give him a sort of a, a ray of hope going forward if you like and adam where can we see the film and when is it out it is on bt sport one on the 22nd tuesday the 22nd of october at 9 p.m don't miss it thank you so much adam You're